let's just be honest here makeup is so important good morning good morning guys it's thursday the one week one week left of being 20 and then i'm 21 can you do something for me anyways do you know what i'm using right <laughs> little my skincare over here i've got cerave hydrating cleanser got this for my christmas i tanned last night right so i'm looking really tanned <laughs> funnily enough well, what well, this lighting's alright as well, by the way, like, it's been playing games. Been playing games all... What am I doing? Let's restart. My tan. It's been playing games. I love it, though. It's Molly May's filter tan, right? And I think it just looks really nice. It looks quite natural. Let's talk about New Year's resolutions, because it is the New Year. Oh my god, guys, happy New Year. Happy New Year! I like the picture of health, guys. Don't worry, I'll look a lot better in a second. But what I was going to say is... So my New Year... Um, meh? Eh? What? My New Year's resolutions. I'm just me, right? I'm just wee Tony for East Coast Bride <laughs> with a wee camera, a wee TikTok, like, I don't know, right? You ready for this? I'm not going to share them all because some of them are a bit big and I feel like, mm, I don't know. I just don't want to share them, you know? Privacy's better. One, I really, 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 I really want to read a book a month, right? And I'm still reading Atomic Habits from last year, so my aim this month is to read two. My aim is to finish this one and then start a new one. I'm going to do it. Last year I said this and I read like two books, so no, no. Little bit red. Straight odds. Slay odd season. It's going to be sensitive to heat and the cold. Don't worry, guys. Come summer, I look a normal colour. But anyway, yeah, so I really want to read a book a month because I have too many books that I've not read yet. I've not even read them. I just get them for Christmas. And I don't read them. Also, right, by the way, you don't need to listen to this, but if you're here, hi, and maybe this will inspire you to start another New Year's resolution. I also really, really, really want to get into Pilates. So every morning I've been doing, not every, well, yeah, so far, but I won't do it every morning if I don't feel like it, because that's also my New Year's resolution, listening to your body. So I wake up and I do, like, even if it's like 10 minutes Pilates, right, I see them on YouTube. There's a few good ones, and I do it on there. So I just want to make sure that I'm getting fresh air, but... When I go out to get fresh air, I'm not going to scroll because I think when I'm out walking, something I just scroll. Which is fair enough, right? But I think I just want to take in nature, you know? Like sunrise, sunsets. I'm buzzing for the summer sunrise and the summer sunsets because I just think they are absolutely stunning. Like they're all the vibes, guys. Like you guys know me. Buzzing for that. I'm over this weather. So what else, what else is on my New Year's resolution? Oh, guys, I've literally just woke up. I don't know how I've got this energy. Like, genuinely, I rolled out of bed, brushed my teeth and came here. And it's literally 10 o'clock. Someone tell me what's going on with Tony. Why is she waking up so late? Anyways, another New Year's resolution, right, is to actually just kind of have balance. Because someone might relate to this. I'm a procrastinator, but I'm also an overthinker and a stress head, right? But then I'm also not, because something I do is think, like, oh, it is what it is. Like, I'm really good at just being, like, it is what it is. Like, my world could be falling apart and I'll be like... It is what it is. Like, I'm not joking. It's actually really bad sometimes. I really want to just kind of find balance. Like, not put pressure on myself to constantly be doing something productive. Because the way my brain works, guys, right, you might relate. Sometimes when I'm not doing something productive, I tell myself, like, Oh, well, you're going to be so unsuccessful and your whole world's going to come to an end and you're such a waste, right? If I'm literally just sitting watching something. Sorry. Uh, shut up this year. I also really want to travel. New Year's resolution, guys. We're going to travel at least three to four times. We've got some really, 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 really exciting things coming up. Uh, yeah. I really want to go to Greece. Or Italy. Or Paris. I definitely want to Paris anyways. Me and one of my friends, Morgan. Morgan, if you're watching this, hi. I actually need to Snapchat you and we can sit and actually have a look at the prices and stuff because we should probably start thinking about that. New Year New Us and I really 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 want to go to London so I think I'm also going to want to do that at one point so we will figure that out. Mm, I want to like this is going to sound really cliche right because I would love to grow this online community more because I just love doing this and I love like I've always logged I say this all the time but I've always logged and if you follow my TikTok you've seen like I posted videos from when I was younger and they're so so funny Here's a clip. We're going to take a big haunted walk through the forest at the park. Now, we just want to say, this video will still go on. Coming. 
<laughs> Your sister might not be as bright as I thought she was. <laughs> what with the spider? I see how it's there! Not the bubble over the spider! You almost hit yourself, good luck! Right, mate. <laughs> you are so lucky that you are not here. So, like, I genuinely have done this all my life. Before you guys even existed, I was talking to you. So you've always been there for me my whole life. But you just didn't know it, technically, right? And if this, like, this is just my absolute, like, passion. Love vlogging on here, on TikTok, everywhere. Here, there, and everywhere. I love it with my whole heart. So I'd love to grow my online community, but I don't want to be one of those people who's like, right, and I know everyone says this, but numbers, they don't mean anything to me. They don't, like, genuinely. I couldn't care less if I have, like, two followers or, I don't know, a million, right? I really couldn't because... I would vlog and post regardless. So it's like, it's nice though when I see that we've actually got an online community. Like on TikTok guys, we have 26.8 thousand people. And that baffles me, like that's 26 thousand, 26 thousand eight hundred people that are in our community, like that are all together and I love that. And then like on here there's like 5 thousand guys. In the terms of not being like, oh I really want, like not being like, I don't know how to word it because I don't want people to think differently of me. I don't want people to think the wrong thing or say the wrong thing. But I would love to grow our online community. Maybe 50,000 could be on TikTok this year. Maybe 10,000 on here. But who knows? We'll see. I just love the idea. And yeah, I really want to also host like an event. Maybe a sober thing. Something. I don't know. Well, I'll just get in a car and go to Starbucks. I'll just hire this double-decker bus. <gasps> oh, imagine we did that. Oh, my battery's flashing. That's not good. That's not bloody good. Let me finish my mascara first. <laughs> Why do I keep doing accents? Okay, I have got a little delivery. So guys, I did some retail therapy. I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna just order from there. So I got this little top. It's like knitted. I thought it was really cute. I got it in black as well because I just know I'll love it. So I just got it in black as well. And then I got this because right, I've got Primark bralettes are like black and glittery. So I thought this over it with some cargos for like going out or something. I just thought it was really cool, so I got that as well. But that's literally it. So I'm gonna get ready and then I'll see you whenever I see you. But that's my little haul from Bershka. If you fall, I'm gonna cry. I'm actually. Baltic. Uh, I'm in my car. Shocker. We're gonna get a Starbucks because I need to do that before I start the day. It's like my morning routine. I literally woke up at 10. Don't know what's going on with me, right? But bear with, bear with. It's just New Year. We're just getting into it. Oh, it's okay. It's a balance. It's all right. It's no surprise there, I'll wait till this car comes round. Excuse me babes, I'm waiting to come out of here. Where's my phone? Uh, Bluetooth connection to I've actually got the doctors at quarter past one and I'm absolutely so nervous. I hate going to the doctors. Like I went to the doctors with like a guardian until I was like 16. <laughs> and then they refused to come with me. I don't want to go myself. Yeah. Oh, it's blind. I don't want copyrighted guys, that sounds like Rihanna. Let's put the heating on a wee bit. It's a wee bit chilly. Um, it's busy in here, I'm not even gonna lie. It's bloody chocolate blocker. Oh, so you just don't fall. Sing it to the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go across the yellow brick road. Oh, you're not. Mm -hmm. I threw the. Can I please have a venti iced almond latte? Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, thank you. He's like, what are you drinking? I went biscotti oat latte. Interesting. Don't mind if I do. Do you know what I hate? I hate drive throughs I stall. So please, guys, pray to the gods I don't stall because I'm not in the mood to stall today. I'm really not. I stopped getting Starbucks so much, but it's like my little thing. Do you ever have like a habit? It's not like a bad habit, is it? I don't know. But then like, I just think like, imagine being in LA, right? They spend like 15 pounds on a bloody smoothie. I spend three pounds on a nice latte. And if that gets me through the day, so be it. Hey! Right, I've got myself a wee coffee. I look a wee bit orange. I promise I'm not this orange in person. It's just how it looks on the camera. It's a scam, cause I swear. I am sitting. in a journal actually, do you know? My little brother, right, he got a phone and he doesn't stop texting me. It's actually really funny, but I'm like, babes, go count sheep or something. My life is so random. Anyway, do you know what's so funny? I'm seeing all these runners running around the lock on their, like, fitness games, and I'm here just to drink coffee and journal. Gotta go. Hey, good morning, guys. I have got a wee coffee. I'm getting ready for work. 
Um, but I thought I'd quickly come on because I've got a haul for you. And whilst it's good lighting, because when I come home from work, it's always like dark and there's just no point. So, Name Collective. I love them. I've got three so far. I've got a red one, I've got a nude one, I've got a pink one. And now, I've got a black one because I thought, right, I was like, I need to have a black one. Black goes with everything. Because they've not got like a purple glitter one. I wish they did. Hint, hint. But with my purple Jordans. Oh yeah, slay. I'm absolutely obsessed, right, look. I'm not wearing it today though, because I'm working. But lo and behold, I'll probably wear that on my birthday. It's stunning, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like, it's so glittery. Look at that. Oh. But they are little investments. Like, I don't buy myself things often. So when I do, I like to get them, because I love them. So we're gonna down this coffee. Then we're gonna go on a, maybe a wee walk, a wee stroll edit this is gonna be my new morning routine we're cutting out starbucks for january we can do it i believe i don't know when you'll see this vlog i'm hoping right i'm hoping praying to the gods that it's up tonight mother look what i got to wear on my birthday um and that'll probably be the last bit of this vlog but live laugh laugh cheers big ears help me guys not to be dramatic or anything, but this is my last day being 20. This is the last time you're ever going to see 20 year old me. Ever. She had a good run. Alright guys, I'm actually dreading it, like I'm actually so nervous. Like I'm not even nervous, but like I don't like birthdays, like I just hate the anticipation. And see 21, everyone makes it such a big thing because 21 is 21. You can drink in America, I think. Not that I drink, but... <laughs> ah, I don't know. It's just got me feeling really weird, but it is what it is, isn't it? It's just another day, really. Just another day. Um, so, I'm gonna basically bring you along on my little last day of being 20. I thought it'd be quite a good excursion, quite a good adventure for the memories. <laughs> Leaving my 20, just 20. But see, to be honest, right, I'm not gonna lie. See, being 20, it literally changed my life. I'm not gonna lie, like, the 20s treated me so much better than the teens did. So let that be your sign if you're like 19 and worried because I've actually enjoyed my 20s more than I have my teenage years and I'm only 20. I'm only one year in. Anyways, I'm gonna show you my outfit and then we're gonna get on with the day. Uh, I also need to tie my room a wee bit today. So, outfit of the day is, I'll put these here. Best bit for a coffee, I'm having withdrawals. So, we've got green cargoes from H&M, black top from Bershka, here is straight end, and then I've got my little necklaces on, I've got a glittery bralette on. That's the outfit. So I'm gonna wear them. Um, but yeah. I'm freezing in this house, like I'm actually gonna freeze and the lighting's not good. So it's really getting on my nerves right now. 21 never looks so good, guys. It's like not even eight o'clock in the morning, but I was born at 7.30, so my family all get me up. Uh, <laughs> guys, it's my birthday. Oh dear. Whoa, I need to sort this tan. Oh my God, right, give me a second, right? I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna look a whole lot presentable. Promise, guys, I don't look like this. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I must spend my money. <laughs> guys, I'm 21. 21. Can you do something for me? Can you hit a little rich flex for me? Oh, I'm 21, guys, not 12. Despite I do look 12, but these balloons, I promise, say 21. I actually think you can see it the right way around on here, but TikTok. TikTok was showing 12. She said she was 12. But no, anyways, hi guys. Welcome. Let me set you up. Let me set you up here. Let me get you comfy. How do I feel? Just so in years I can look back in this when I'm like 40. I feel not good. Guys, I don't feel good. <laughs> like, at least I don't look 21, so I can still technically tell people I'm, I'm not 21 if I wanted to. If I was really, really struggling to accept it. But like, I don't know, I'm really excited because I'm not gonna lie, see being 20, 20 was, 20 was something else, like my teen years, I hated my teen years, my teen years were hell on earth, like, oh it was not a vibe, it wasn't fun, I was so glad to see the end of my teen years, so I'm not gonna lie, see if you're 19 and worried about turning 20, don't be, because my 20s are so much better than what my teen years have been, but it just scares me, right, 21, my dad was 21 when he had me, I'm sure, imagine me if I were a kid, Hi guys, this is my Wayne. Like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not yet. But it does scare me because in your 20s, you know, like, most things happen in your 20s. Or at least I'd like to hope so. You know? Like, when you're 20, like, I don't know. 
My camera nearly fell, imagine that, my birthday. I would cry, not a Barbados part two. If you know, you know. Um, but, like, when you're like in your 20s, you do like generally, not always, but like you have kids, you get married, you buy a house, you like all that kind of stuff. Ah! Yeah, it just scares me. It terrifies me and it's terrifying because when I was like 10, I thought at 21 I'd be married and probably in my own house with a kid by now. <laughs> she was tripping. She was tripping. Uh, but yeah, this is my balloons. In fact, let's get a thumbnail. To the memories. Little Tony would be proud. But I'm so, so excited. Can you believe I'm 21? Just look at me for a second. Because I can't. I need the light on. Ah! Anyways, guys. Today we're going to build a bear. In true 21-year-old style. Most 21-year-olds, I'm assuming, you know, they don't go to build a bear. But I'm different. We're built different, guys. So we're going to build a bear. And I'm absolutely buzzing about it. I'm going to show you quickly what I got from my mum and my stepdad and my little brother. So they gave me this cute little card. And I won't tell you what it says in it because it's like private, but it does say that I'm a super woman. I still don't like being called a woman though, I'm a super girl. Super girl! Got a new Instax mini camera, which I'll probably bring with me because I have about 50 cameras. I've got cameras flying out my ears. Hunks! How stunning! And I got... And a Pandora charm for my bracelet. So it says 21. Like how cute. So. Yay! I'm glad to have these with me though. Quick outfit of the day. Name Collective Hoodie. It is absolutely stunning and look. Look at the gems. Look at the rhinestones. How beaut is that hoodie? Goes dunks. Hang on, I'm going to bring these in here to show you because this lighting's not it. I'll probably bring my balloons along with me and all. Give me a second guys. This is chaos. Bringing my balloons. Imagine I popped them, that would be a disaster, wouldn't it, guys? The lighting in this house is rubbish, I tell you. Really bad. I need to move to LA or something. Yeah, you'll do. Look, look, look. Right, for the memories, right? These wee teddies. I've had them since I was born. Like, they're 21 years old as well, guys. It's their birthday, too. I'll see you when we are probably kicking about Glasgow because I'll just whip out my camera because I don't care, it's my birthday and who's to judge? Guys, if this is going to focus, we're on the train. I actually could have passed as a child. The actual, <laughs> the train man thought I was a camera, the tripod. The train man thought I was a wee child. He was looking at me funny because she had paid for her ticket and he was just <laughs> looking at me. And then, I, I don't know, I asked for an adult return they looked at me funny and all. And then he was like, God, I thought I looked dumb. <laughs> what can I say, guys? What can I say? We're on the train uh, in Glasgow, obviously. But let me show you. Let me show you something. Brought my clouds. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure if you saw that yet. So I was in TQ Max last night because I was bored and I went for a wee wonder. And so, I got this bag. Look, it's so flattery. Do you know, it's only like 15 pounds. Absolutely, that's a bargain, uh -huh. It's skinny dip, you know where I get my hoodies? Uh, it's that brand when Tiki Max had it in, so I was like, get straight in my basket. Oh, I was like, named <laughs> Collecto, pretty cool. Anyways guys, I'll see you when we get to Glasgow. Right guys. Hang on, look. We're at Builder Bear. I don't know what to pick. Look, there's so many. So, right, my thing. I like the frog. Or, I actually do like the frog. I think the frog's so cute. But then I also like this wee one. And I like this wee one. So I don't know. I can't make decisions to save myself. Can't make decisions to save myself. I don't know. Do you have the rainbow ones? I, I think I want the frog, I think. Oh, yeah, I like the frog. We're getting a frog, check guys. The frog. I'm attracted to the frog. It's a frog, it's good. <laughs> yeah! Exactly, right. We need to find some outfits. What would you dress the wee frog in? <laughs> oh, Maybe. Buffy princess. <laughs> 
think it needs to be a guy. Oh, that's cute. Like, it is cute. It's mad what they've got. Guys, they've actually got everything. They've got, they've got Yoda ears. They've got everything. Guys, this is so exciting. They've got roller skates. <laughs> no, he's not wearing glasses. He's, he's not got glasses. Then, like. Huh? Not just not Yoda. Would it be a girl? But I think it's cute if it's a wee. Yeah, like my, my prince. <laughs> what would you even name a frog? I know it's so basic. Matcha? Scream oh, like a frog? Matcha. We matcha the frog. Prince matcha. Right, okay. <laughs> Prince matcha. Right, hang on, let's see. We've got the frog. But, well, right, we've got a decision here. Is he going to wear this? Absolutely not. Don't know, guys, what do we think? Because that was a birthday one, because it's our 21st, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a birthday cake, yeah. It's such a bring back, mate. He'll be there. Oh my gosh, it is so cold. Is my camera fuzzy? I don't know. I'm really sorry. I'm really, 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 focus. Charlie Baltic just got home. So we've got, he's called Matcha. He's a prince because my idea is, right, you kiss the frog, you get your prince. So <laughs> this is Matcha. Prince Matcha, whatever you want to call it. The girl was actually so lovely, so shout out to her. I actually can't, I don't think she told me her name, but she was an absolute gem. So was the guy who was working there as well, like the the manager or whichever, but absolutely obsessed. And not only did I get this outfit, I also got him. Well, my mum got Thank you. A suit, so I thought I'll take him to my birthday dinner on Saturday. He's got a suit and tie. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in my element right now, so got that. Actually, we live my childhood. Then we went to Lush, right? The big Lush. Oh my god, it was an absolute dream. I really wanted to whip out my camera, but it was too busy and it was so cold, so I was like, no. Got myself some tulips. They're so, so pretty. They're, they were also like, um, they got them from Scotland in Cornwall, so they're like ethically sourced or something, it said. So pretty. And then, right? We went and we got a pink latte from this wee cafe called Plant Blonde in Lush. It was absolutely stunning. And we were like just chatting and I was like, oh yeah, it's my birthday, blah, 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 blah. Right, I hate doing that because I'm like, yeah, it's my birthday, right. But she gave me a cinnamon bun. Pretty cute. And I got a pink latte. I'll insert a wee photo here. It was so cute. Like, oh my goodness. Upstairs in Lush and the wee woman was like chatting to us again. And mum was like, yeah, it's our 21st, blah, blah, blah. She was like, oh. Let me get you a freebie. So I was like, say no more. Followed her and she was like, what do you prefer? So I got a kiss. Oh, if you could smell it. I basically got, it's for your shower. It's a shower jelly. Let me show you. It's lips. Looks like I've got lip filler for my 21st, guys. I also thought, right, I don't have a bath here. But in my dad's there's a bath. And I keep saying I'm going to go and have a bath. But I've not actually done it yet. So I was like, you know what? It's now or never. I'm going to get myself a nice little bath bomb. So I got myself a little strawberry crumble bath bomb. Smells insane. So I'll go to my dad to have a bath at one point. Don't know when, but at one point I shall. And then I went into Waterstones because I've been wanting this book forever, right? It's called The Alchemist. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but basically I love manifesting and I'm a, I'm a very big optimist. Like I love dreams. I love dream chasing, all that stuff. I'm your girl. You guys know this, right? And basically it says, dreams are made to be followed, life is meant to be lived, some books are meant to be read, loved and passed on. The Alchemist is one, is one of those books. And there was like a little thing on it and it said it's like a fairy tale, not a fairy tale, it was like a tale of inspiring you to chase your dreams and stuff. And I was like, excuse me? So I picked this up. I'm actually excited to read it. I'll read it eventually. You guys know, to be read list is like so, so long. Um, and then I also picked a wee tote bag 
from Plant Blondes as well, because I was in. So now I have coaching, and now I'm going to visit my dad and that, and it's so good because I get to like string out my birthday so much because um, I've still got stuff like at the weekend to look forward to, so it's so exciting. Like I'm actually, like I've never had a birthday like this, and so far, no birthday breakdown. Maybe it'll hit me at like midnight when I'm sitting my cell like, <laughs> I'm actually 21, like this isn't a dream. Um, but yeah, I've had such a good day so far and I'm so blessed that you guys have actually been amazing. Like, see your wee comments and your little like DMs, my heart is actually like bursting so much. Like, I just love you all so much. Um, it's late, I had coaching and it was honestly so cute. All the wee girls sang happy birthday to me and I felt, oh, oh my god, I just felt like I was on Clyde 9. It's the cutest, most wholesome thing ever. Ever. Anyways, do you like my crown? It came on the birthday cake. I went to my dad's for dinner after coaching and I got my little crown. We got some cute little cupcakes. I'll insert a photo here. There were social media ones, so I had the TikTok one, obviously. My sister had the YouTube one and then my other sister had the Spotify one. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I got for my birthday from them, right? Well, first of all, I've got these hoodies flying at my ears, guys. My sister Steph got me... Oh my god, actual gem. She got me another name collective hoodie. She got me this one and it goes with the shoes. So I was like, that is bloody perfect. Got this hoodie. Right. Other got a top. Love your mind. A little mental health top. Then my little brother made me this. He's one, so he obviously made it all by himself. <laughs> Picasso, I like it. Anyway, then I got this card. And it's a Disney card. And there's a photo of Disney in it. And basically, oh my god. Right, I'm so blessed and I don't want this to look like I'm showing off in the slightest because I'm not. I'm so beyond blessed and so grateful and honestly I cried, right? No, that means anything, but like I did cry. I'm in awe. I'm in awe. <laughs> it's a contribution to Disneyland Paris because I'm going to Disneyland Paris this year. I'm making it happen. I'm so blessed. Oh my god. How cool is that? Hi. <laughs> 